Well, shalom from the Tabernacle of David Prophetic Dance Center in Jerusalem. I want to encourage all you out there who may be struggling today. I love this expression I heard one morning uh, from a choir um, <clears throat> and from my iTunes library. Even though I don't feel good, God is always good. Now, we, we want to feel good, and a large part of it is us making the decision to choose joy. It is a choice. We can choose our attitude. Sometimes we forget that. But even if we don't feel good, God is always good. I wanted to talk about the meaning of ministry. Well, we, we heard Yeshua in the gospel say that I must go away so that I can send you the Holy Spirit. In Hebrew, the Ruach HaKodesh. And the Holy Spirit will lead you and guide you into all truth. He will remind you of the things that I've said to you. The Holy Spirit ministers to us, to our hearts. The Holy Spirit comforts us. So when we talk about our ministry, the ministry that God has sent us out to do, it needs to have the anointing on it, the breath of God, the presence of God, solely for that thing that God has sent us out to do. Yeshua said, I only do what I see my Father doing. So if we move out in the anointing, the thing that God has put his fingerprints on for us, to minister, to bring comfort, to bring a word of comfort, to bring healing, restoration. As we partner with God and we have the anointing on us for a specific thing to do, His Spirit will work through us and touch people. That is the ministry of the Holy Spirit. And I talked about this the other day, the power of the dance worship when the anointing is present with the dance worshiper. We are releasing the river of God, and in the river of God is everything that we need. Every touch that we need from God as we jump into the river, as we open ourselves up to receive the ministry of the Holy Spirit, which can happen in many ways. We could be preaching, teaching, dancing, singing, all in under the anointing of God. It is a ministry. So let's choose joy today. Let's remember, um, I like to say to the Lord, here I am, Lord, I'm bringing my fish and my loaves. You know, in the Gospels of Yeshua, there were, I think there were 5,000, right? And there wasn't enough food. And so Yeshua lifted up the fish and the loaves and God provided for 5,000 people. I think it was, was it two fish and five loaves or it was five fish and two loaves, I'm not sure. But anyway, we need to come with faith, come with what we have. When God has led us to do something, come with what we have and know that he will do what he wants to do. We just need to be a willing vessel and we just need to say yes to God, to whatever he wants to do in our lives. So I just want to bless you from the city of the great king, Yerushalayim. Be encouraged today. Even if you're struggling, all you have to do is take that one step into the presence of God. You know, I once heard it said that praise is the most powerful thing that we can do. And I can tell you that when I'm struggling and I pick up my shofars, because now I have two big antelope horns, I'm telling you that changes everything. However God has called you to praise, whether it's through song, instruments, shofar, dance, whatever it is, we need to do that because sometimes praise is the only thing that will break the battle that we're going through. And he does bring us from glory to glory. Our part is to take that first step into his presence. And the only way to get to know God, to get to know him in his heart, is to step into his presence. So God bless you as you seek the Lord today. In Yeshua's name. Shabbat Shalom from the city of the great king, Yerushalayim.